Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is NS, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please be a witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for that. So don't hesitate man, if you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter in this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique and professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that would drain your money and it's not a very good idea for a long term project. But I give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge and I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill one of the most requested videos, which is how to show the product variant images as swatches on the product page without using any application. And today I will show you how to do that by the simplest way possible. And I don't think you can find a simpler tutorial than this one. It's very simple short code that will actually automatically convert the filters, I mean the variance buttons into swatches and with the pictures for that particular product variants in them and you will be actually amazed how simple it is and how it good it looks like without anyone talking let's just jump to it as you can see this is shopify down team so i always start with completely new team nothing on it in each video i add small customizations but video 70 or 60 the team will be completely different but now i think i reached that level halfway for example check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources google facebook amazon and etsy all in one place and it's filterable if i click on google only the reviews from Google and so on for Facebook and other platforms. But even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, no applications involved, and it's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it, uh, to who to show up to first time visitors or returning visitors, and also the interval between each one and the position for it, and the colors and so on. And yeah, by using your own custom code, no applications involved. But for now, let me show you how to make the variant options as swatches with the various pictures. So I will keep scrolling down to pick a, to go to the future collection to pick a product. So if you saw anything on the Shopify store that you like and you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here, it means it's already done on one of our previous videos. I don't remove the changes from there, I keep them so people can see them. So again, if you saw anything you like, just check out the channel because once it's here, it means it's already done and posted. And let me access this product or actually the t-shirt is better, this one. Because the t-shirt has multiple colors, as you can see, black, lake blue, and red. If I click on red, it will show red. So this ones will be actually as swatches and inside them, for example, the variant black will have this picture and the variant blue will have this picture inside the circle, I mean the swatch. And by the way, everything you see in this product page in here, I did them in tutorials and all of them are free, including a wishlist functionality. A wishlist functionality, as you can see with a button on the header for the wishlist, a fully functional wishlist system on your Shopify store without using any applications, by using your own code, and it's completely free. What else you need, man? Check out the channel for the million time. I'm just joking, <laughs> I'll quit now. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. After that, it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find a specific file. Instead of looking at the folders like this, use the search bar at the top left corner and search for product dash variant and you will see this option right here, product-variant-options, not picker. I repeat, product-variant-options.liquid. Click on it, and a bunch of code will show up, no worries, I will guide you through everything. Simply click on the code just like you want to write something. I will, all my tutorials, I actually teach on the tutorials just like you are five years old. So even if you're like five years old, you can follow along with me and you can do exactly what I do. So click on the code just like you want to write something and don't write anything. If you are using in Windows, click on Control F on your keyboard. I'm using Mac, so I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the page. And in here we need to type in a code that will help us directly find it. We don't have to keep looking at the code. And simply type in forward slash just like this, label. 
just like you see, let me, here it is, label, forward slash label, then hit enter, and here it is, it will highlight it on the code for you. Let me close this one, here it is. So let me zoom in on it so you can see. As you can see, it says forward slash label. So select from here, as you can see from here, up, 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 until this bracket and the percentage behind else f. You see this else f, as you can see without the e, it's just else f. This one in green, the percentage and closing bracket behind it. Make sure to select the whole thing. It's very clear as you can see, right? Then delete it. As you can see, delete it and we create some space. Actually, before you do that, make sure to take a backup because sometimes this option right here, it does not work properly. Sometimes it breaks. Just takes a, take a backup uh, for this file right here. Uh, pass the code in any uh, note uh, in your computer, just in case you want to get back to the previous version. In my case, I don't. I like this, so I'm going to uh, remove it. Then after that, after the space was created, the next thing you're going to do is scroll down the description box and you will see a link, my website, completely free again. Uh, click on it and it will take you to this website right here, as you can see. Then after that, scroll down a little bit and actually here is the code, the, the file you need to find and here is the code you need to delete. So you don't get confused. You see this code? This is the code you have to delete. But this is the code that we have to replace it with. Simply scroll down uh, where it says the code number two, as you can see, it says replace. And click on this icon right here to copy the whole code. And after that, get back in here and simply paste it in the space that we need to create, as you can see. Then click on save button. Wait for a couple of seconds, it's save it. We will get back in here, reload the page and see what that will do. So let's just reload the page. And here it is, check it out now. As you can see, it's actually swatches and once I click on it, boom, t-shirt black, like bl blue, t-shirt blue, red, t-shirt red. As you can see, it was very simple and I spent some valuable time to find actually the simplest way to do so. And as you can see, it was very simple. And if this video helped you out, please help me out, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And leave me any comment. I don't reply to each comment, so leave me any comment. And I would really appreciate that. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.